Good morning, folks. Let's begin by checking out a swirling plasma filament on the northeastern limb. It's going to swing in to face Earth by the end of the weekend. Today we're taking a look at a new way to wash your car. Trees get in on the geoengineering debate, and we'll take a look around at your weather as well. We'll explain fully in a moment, but first, solar tornado coming in on the south, coronal cavity curve seen at the top of the rope. I've got a full analysis of the current space weather, including a look at the earthquake watch and geomagnetic storm watch now in effect. But first, we come to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star, Dark coronal holes are departing, no big flashes or visible ejecta, and the filaments appear calm and stable. The Earth-facing quiet effect is especially prominent when the whole star is calm. Solar flaring staring up at a C-class glass ceiling this morning, and the larger sunspot begins departing at the western limb, with a new grouping born center disk on the north lacking magnetic instability. Strongest umbras are spread out there. Solar wind shows a drop in particle speed in yellow. We expect the coronal holes to deliver a faster stream within the next 24 hours or so, so calm geomagnetic conditions may shift to unstable or even storm conditions today. Eyes open. The stream is coming from those departing coronal holes turning right. The watch score peaked yesterday, so the earthquake alert will persist for a few more days, but again, our program is detecting waning significance of the transequatorial opening, indicative of weaker quake-making force. Top news today starts with this. Turns out that a good deal of the aerosol content in the atmosphere is due to trees, and it was there before industry as well, meaning that the current influence of CO2 pollution has likely been overestimated in climate models, probably the most useful thing CERN has done in a while. Also this, folks, the Florence car wash is now open for business. 50% drop, I mean 50% off when you drive on the left side of the road. Pipes burst due to temperature and rainwater fluctuations in the previous months, and folks, here you go. If you're having a bad day, just know it could probably be worse. These are some of the best images of severe weather from the last two days in the United States. The central Earth spot in the U.S. hasn't moved, and it isn't going to move along quickly anytime today. The National Hurricane Center expects that little cell to intensify to be a hurricane threat later this weekend, but until then, that low in the middle of the country continues driving a strong eastern convergence where the storms will drop again tonight. Texas up through Nebraska and to the east to Mizzou and the I states are on alert. The lows are easy to see in Europe. Not as strong a storm is expected as in the U.S., but isolated flood and hail events are certainly possible. Down under, set of lows takes aim at the southern coastlines and will manage to squeeze up and take on the whole of New Zealand by tomorrow. Antarctic lows chugging along in the west as well. Africa spared this time, but South America won't be able to avoid another system making landfall. Folks, as promised, we got that deeper look episode out for you last night. 45 episodes thus far this year for nearly 150 total. We discussed the implications of our latest plasma experiments for the correlation between planetary geometry and flare and earthquake events. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.